This is not rolling over, guys. In this video, you're going to learn what non-optimal rolling over looks like warning signs and how Movement Lesson makes use of mathematics to perform optimal movements. Welcome to Movement Lesson. Find our links in the description below. This is not rolling over, guys. You know, I get it. Or like this, big warning. Oh, get your arm out, buddy. This is, this, oh, lift the head up. Or you lift them, roll them over. And again, I'm here. No, come on, get your head up, get your... These are not developmental actions. They're not to be included into your baby's development. We've got to just stop looking it away. We're saying stuff like, they'll get it eventually. I'm not saying muscles not used. But what your baby should not be doing, first of all, is like this. See, I have no band going. So now I'm stuck. I've taken my eyes off the prize. I don't see you anymore. And, and go again, my eyes are off the prize. And now I have to do this. Of course you need muscles. Because muscles are the only thing that have been delivered the action. If your muscles are capable. You'll never be strong enough. Especially if the vision's off. Like this. Right now, go home. Lay on your bed. Lay on the floor. Keep your eyes here. And try and sit up. You just can't do it. It's not about being strong or poor strength or all these things or reflex integration. I've taken Michelle's work and studied all the movement, movement mathematics of what actually creates optimal movements in the system uh, mathematically. And that's what movement lesson is here. Uh, and that's what we're about. And as you watch this video by Michelle, as you watched it, she's shown you the non-mathematical movements that are happening in the body. Often um, when you're working with rolling over tips, they'll tell you, you know, come here, grab the legs. And roll over. Tell you lots of people like, oh, that worked for me. Or you need to put your kid in more tummy time so their back and neck muscles get stronger. Um, and it's really not the muscles that should be be creating the milestone. If it is, um, you're just setting the body up for um, failure. That failure could be years down the road. It could be quite soon, depending on how rotationally compromised your child is. And so working here with Michelle... And with the movement lesson team, we're here to show you the mathematical movements that create optimal rolling over in the system and how you can work with it, uh, regardless of whether or not your child will be able to actually perform rolling over, okay? Where optimal rolling over is where that baby can look for something, reach, and come and roll over. And mathematically, you can see these pink lines are horizontal and perpendicular to the ground. Same thing in the pelvis, same thing in the chest, same thing in the spine. If you don't have that mathematical combination, you're not getting optimal rolling over experiences in the system, which affects all uh, other aspects of development. So if you want to put optimal movements into your child's system, not just, you know, do an exercise and get, um, get a performance of it that may or may not be optimal for your child, uh, depending on their rotational movement, then come here to movement lesson. You can go into the rolling over course, um, try your hand at it. But if your child still isn't getting into rolling over, you know, get into the Fast Start um, Optimal Development Program and start from the beginning. It's not going backwards in development. It's actually taking steps forwards and building that movement structure, those movement mathematics that create those optimal milestone experiences in your child's body. To learn more about supporting optimal development and movements in your child, find our links to the Rolling Over and Fast Start program in the description.